Hi, everyone. I'm former Republican State Senator Phil Harriman, joined, as always, by my friend and colleague, former Democrat State Senator Ethan Strimling. Ethan, let's talk a little inside baseball today. Uh, recently, a Freedom of Information process revealed that uh, your state senator, where you live, uh, Justin Alphon, introduced legislation verbatim as written by a special interest group, the wind energy folks here in Maine. And the bill uh, was introduced. They generously donated to his campaign. And as it turns out through this investigative process, the lobbyists introducing the legislation actually coached J uh, Justin on which legislators he had to turn around and get them to vote the other way. And is this, is this new? Well, you know, it, it's pretty extensive and clearly they should have been more careful in terms of how they were doing this for sure. Uh, you know, I never dealt with a corporation or lawyers or special interests that were sort of this involved in a specific piece of legislation like that. But let's be careful to make sure that we don't just say that this is, uh, you know, uh, an, uh, one example because it does happen a lot. And unfortunately, lawyers and businesses have a lot of influence on the legislature, especially lobbyists. They're the ones who are, have been there the longest with term limits. We see a lot of turnover. And so business as usual, unfortunately, in our legislature is that lobbyists will write bills and give them to legislators and try to get them through. And legislators, on the flip side, have to be careful about that, though. They have to stand up and say, I need to make sure that this reflects my values, and I need to make sure that I'm doing this because it's the best thing for Maine, not simply to get some campaign contributions. And so that's the place where you've got to find the balance. You know, I, in all fairness to Justin Alphon, you're right, we should make it very clear, even in my time when I was in the state Senate, when Angus King and before that, uh, John McKernan were governor, these sorts of legislative introductions was happening right. then and I suspect even before I served in the Senate. Yeah. This is a sort of uh, process that unfolds and, and your comments are right on. Legislators, particularly now that the session has begun, I'm told there's over 1,550 new pieces of legislation that will be uh, introduced to the legislature this session. They got to be careful that they're not in a situation as we've right. just described. Right now, most of them are just titles. So they're actually being written as we speak. So let's hope that legislators are a little more careful next time and make sure that they don't just put stuff in verbatim what somebody else wants. They're making sure it's what they want. Otherwise, they'll be uh, subject of our conversations here with you. <laughs>